Hello and very welcome to a new video. Today I'm going to show you my Respace processing chain and um, basically it sounds like this. Let me turn off every effect and then I got you um, through each and every processing step and basically this is my common chain. Um, yeah, if I want to deal with three spaces. So basically um, I use the serum, nothing too special, just um, two saw um, saw waves um, slightly detuned, that's it. With, a, with this filter to get this kind of flangy sound. And then I add EQing filter very quickly. Let me quickly change the size of the window, sorry, because I have a huge screen here and uh, OBS is just recording uh, a specific size. So boosting, <clears throat> boosting the low, a little bit reducing those um, annoying frequencies on 300 hertz. But again, uh, everything is of course by your taste. Then adding another EQ, um, this time also uh, pop filter, also like reducing with an automated um, EQ boosting at the same time here, a little bit reducing. Then a little bit of distortion using this time the Capriator from Sound Toys. And this is up to up to 180 hertz. It's mono. It's just a tool which I reduce the width to mono and in the highs I have some filtering going on which is triggered randomly um, and it's both like bandpass filters that just randomly swipe through the frequency bandwidth. So if I, if I um, So if I turn them off, you already like hear um, well the difference. Or let's put it the other way around. If I turn it on, then there's this already this nice um, frequency modulation going on. Which makes it like lively. And then there's another EQ. Again, um, those can also be automated, of course. Then I added another distortion. This time it's um, the riff from Minimal Audio. this nice airy kind of distortion 
which I really like. Um, then added a disperser from kilohertz. Then I added a reverb. Also, sometimes it's nice um, to change the position of a reverb um, in, um, in front of the distortion or uh, after the distortion, um, because it's, uh, of course, um, the end of the um, reverb is then creating different kind of distortion artifacts, which sometimes is super nice. Then another EQ. Ah, okay. This one is um, for... Um, Um, I high passed the mids because there was a lot of uh, unnecessary modulation going on uh, in this in the sides. Um, so I just high passed the sides and reduced the mids as they have been. Oh, what's going on here? Ah, this is also nice. It just adds a little bit of reverb at the end. It adds this like warm rain of Airy kind of noise. Then in here is a flanger. I think this is a phaser. Yes, that's a phaser. Even more chaos. This one contains, ah, the serum um, as an effect, um, adding this filter. It adds a little bit of mid crunchiness, which I also really like. And this one, Ah, this one is also kind of nice. Um, it added, it adds also um, almost not um, recognizable kind of shiny um, frequencies um, on top, uh, and modulates it also with uh, by a, a phaser. And um, yeah, let's hear the difference. At the end, it's a vocoder, but I use it uh, differently. Let's give it a listen. I overdo it just so that you um, um, get the idea of what it does, but of course, um, you just have to mix it a little bit um, into the sound. Without and with. On the headphone, it's 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 super nice as it adds this kind of um, yeah shiny chaos uh, in the heads, uh, which is super nice. And I think that's it already. It's uh, I added the glue um, to glue everything together. And this one is just um, a, a, a level meter. By the way, it's, it's super dope. DB, DB Meter 5 from TB Pro Audio. It's a um, free plugin. I use it a lot. Um, and um, yeah, I'll uh, explain in another video for what specific uh, use case I use it a lot um, to create um, a Clip to Zero strategy, which yeah, I'm going to explain in another video. 
And uh, this is just um, a clipper, also one of my favorite from Casrock. Um, also, I can um, mm, totally uh, recommend um, the iron. It's, it sounds super nice. By the way, um, why not adding this um, through iron? thing I, I don't like um, at, uh, um, on the true iron is that there's no uh, loudness compensation so um, it's a little bit hard to dial in um, because you got always tricked um, because of the loudness but uh, it sounds really really good and um, I use it quite a lot even on master chain um, yeah basically that's it for today um, I really like the sound <laughs> And um, yeah, I will upload um, the whole project on my Patreon. And um, thanks a lot for watching. Keep pushing. Bye bye.